welcome you Aquarians. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Happy, uh, happy birthday Aquarians. Happy birthday my Aquarians. All right, this is the solar reading, birthday reading for the Aquarians starting from the 3rd until the 9th of February. From the 3rd until the 9th of February. So I just want to say to you Aquarians, thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Let's see what is coming up. What is going to be transpiring for your solar year? Um, because this is your um, birthday solar year. Um, Aquarians, this is going to be a wet and wild year. Your your air and uh, you are vibrating in the energy of death transformation, which is a water energy. So this year is going to be change is coming in, transformation is coming in your life. So, however way this is going to be happening and transpiring for you, Aquarians, you gotta know that you gotta keep going in this year. Okay, it's just a year of transition. So let's see what's coming up for you, Aquarian. All right. So for the people who were born on the third, you have the energy of the star. You have your own energy vibration. This is good. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. So something huge is going to be happening in um, your life for the people who were born on the third of February. Something huge um, is going to be taking place. A huge transition. So um, it can be just about anything that is about to transpire in your life. So does this... Um, this is really really wonderful what is coming up for you okay a huge transition for the people who are born on the third people who are born on the uh, fourth something is leaving your life a transition a huge transition something is leaving your life once and for all this thing whatever it is is leaving your life once and for all so we're going to be looking deeper to see what is happening for you people Okay, the people who were born under fifth, you have the energy of the lovers. So this is going to be um, getting married, um, settling down, finding the right partner, um, family issues with parents, so with kids, um, having kids, so that sort of a thing is going to be coming up for you guys who were born under fifth. People who were born on the 6th, we have the energy of the Wheel of Fortune, another wonderful positive energy. So if you were um, vibrating in heavy energies, heavy negative energies, you're going to be moving out in a positive way because the card is upright. So this is good. For the people who were born on the 7th, I see you have the energy of strength. This is a fire energy in a water year and you are here so you're having to deal with three all three elements so be aware of that okay so that is um definitely a fire element that is coming up so you gotta be aware of that so um people who were born on the eight um i see you're going to be finding out and you're going to be either finding out or showing up a lot of information that people weren't aware of so it's as if you guys are going to be shedding light on things that people weren't aware of or people could be doing it for you so something is definitely going to be removing out of your life and light is going to be shed on something that you weren't aware on okay and for the people who were born on the night there's a lot of secrecy around you and whatever that there is your intuition if you are a psychic or a medium this year it's going to be a good year for you your psychic your intuition is going to be very very high all right so there we are ladies and gentlemen and remember it is a transition it is some um, debt and transition that you guys have for um your energy vibration okay um, please remember to go back and check out the weekly readings. So this reading is for people from the third who were born third of February until the ninth of February. Third of February until the ninth of February. So, Aquarians, um, it's it's um, mm, it's 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 clearing. It's a clearing that is happening for you guys. It, it's really a clearing. It is bringing you out of, uh, um, you know, ending situations in your life. It's a year where transition is coming up. 
So marriages could be ending, relationship could be ending, um, secrets that people hold against you, things that you weren't aware of. New information is going to be coming in. Name it. So let's see what is happening for the people who were born on the third. People who were born on the third, you have the energy of the star. I see you're going to be protecting yourself. You're going to be standing grounds and you're going to be ready for whatever that is coming to you and this is going to be good because I see you're going to be protecting whatever it is that you have created protecting your family your surrounding protecting yourself and um, it's as if um, this year is going to be awakened you so I see you ladies 50 years and older protecting yourselves okay and um, especially the ladies, what I'm seeing is that you ladies are definitely, there is no question about it. It's all about you standing your guard and protecting yourself. And it's going to be affecting everyone because you're carrying your own energy vibration. So whenever um, the energy of uh, you, you're ready for anything, you're open and ready for anything and you're protecting yourself. And this is going to be coming up. In a lot of way that is going to be transpiring for a lot of you okay so um, be aware of that and be understanding of that let's see what else is coming out I see love I see um, some of you are going to be meeting your twin flame and soulmate this is really really positive I see you're going to be meeting the man or woman of your dream um, this is positive because if you are looking for love this is going to be happening um if you were trying to um um get pregnant this is going to be happening for you also if there was issues between you and your partner i see that this year um these issues and situation is going to be resolved and this is going to be absolutely fabulous because what is transpiring is that some of you could be meeting a sagittarius um, especially the latest 50 years and older you could be meeting a Sagittarius and this person is going to be the love of your life okay so that is beautiful the energy of the tower so for you guys um, for you guys you have the energy of uh, 17 which is 8 so you have um, 8 um, you have 9 you have um, 6 and you have 24 and 17 okay use these numbers in however form you want to use them and create for yourself now a tower moment is here but I see you're not regretting whatever has transpired so I see a huge tower moment and this has to do with uh, um, 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 someone who or something in your life is going to be moving away and this is something huge um, you're not regretting this you Aquarian you're happy that this is finally happening and you're not regretting it you're just happy that finally this is happening so um, whatever is moving out of the lives of the people who were born on the 4th of February you're going to be happy that this has moved out of your life because finally you're going to be getting some peace and rest that you needed okay Finally, you're going to be receiving some peace and rest that you needed because if you notice the energy is that some issue situation um, that has been transpiring, what is happening is that this thing is leaving your life because this thing has been blocking you um, in whatever way. Is it an emotional thing? Is it an issue? Is it a situation that has been going on? It is... Uh, it is a year where things are going to be resolving okay all the blockage all the blocks are going to be moving away from you Aquarians and finally you're going to find inner peace and you're going to be taking up the rain and moving forward some of you were dealing with um, a cancer and I see this person is going to be removing out of your life okay so whoever this cancer was so um, it is a tower moment so that means the cancer could have been blocking you for uh, quite some time and it's going this this situation with the cancer is going to be removed out of your life and finally you're going to be free and you're going to be feeling that um, feelings of fry 
being free because that's a fire moment a, a fire energy and this fire energy you're going to be working with this fire energy in this year to remove people and situation that no longer serves you some of you were really having an issue with a cancer out there and this person is going to be removed because they have created blocks and to um an issue and a situation in your life finally 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 you have finally be, um, free yourself from this situation and this is going to be good so you guys have uh, the tower moment uh, which is 16 7 4 and 4 so the angels are your guides is protecting you then you have 30 um, 6 which is 9 so again twice 4 um, then you have uh, um, 16 7 uh, 36 9 so a situation in this year whatever comes up whatever that was blocking whoever was being blocked the resolution is going to be coming in so that's beautiful as we look at the people who were born on the fifth I see that some of you are going to be finding out that your partner is cheating or they were trying to cheat you or someone in your family has tried to cheat you but they're being caught so um, it could be in this year that if someone is uh, um, um, a cheater or so you're going to be finding out because you're going to be catching them um, in um, catching them so this is going to be good it could be that um, if you were cheated out of something it's going to be um, caught on time or you're going to be seeing this on time but it has to do with your family members it has to do with people who are very close to you it could be business contract if you are cheated out of a business contract this is going to be caught in time that is the seven of swords okay so that is all about cheating okay so um i see some of you is is really issues with partnership relationship because uh, um the six of ones is also in reverse so it's not going to be very positive for you and i'm so sorry but it has issues to do with your family that needs to be healed so go back and look at the healing reading because this is all coming up whatever is transpiring go back and look at the healing reading because it's all coming up because there was some deceptiveness in a family issue or a situation and you are going to be finding out about this and it's not going to be very happy it's no positive news because you're going to be finding out that a, 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 a really huge um, a theft has transpired and it has to do with um, um, your family members okay your husband your wife your children um, but the, it's as if they found out about this and you're going to be receiving the news it, it could be with money however that is coming up it could be with money but you're going to be finding out about a huge deceptiveness um, in a family um, and it has to do with a family member so it can be parents it can be your children it can be a husband it can be your wife but um, the news is not going to be good and uh, um, this has to do with uh, the theft, the rat, the theft. Okay, um, um, some of you could be um, feeling stressed out from a relationship, but whatever is transpiring, you gotta be on top of the game. All right. So you have uh, six twice. Um, you have seven. Uh, you have uh, five and twenty-three. As we move on to the people who were born on the 6th, I see you um, leaving a corporation institution, okay? I see you leaving a corporation institution, however that is coming up for you. You're leaving a corporation institute, see? Um, this corporation institute, some of you are going to be changing jobs. Um, and uh, it's as if your angels and guides is moving you away from this corporation institution, okay? Um, however, that is coming up. It's a huge group of people that some of you will be working around and working with. And you are, it's, it's as if the universe is removing you out of that cycle, that circle, moving you into better groups of people. Working with groups of people is going to be very positive for you guys. The Wheel of Fortune is going to be here, so this is going to be good. So um, people who were born on the 6th is very good because you have 
fire energy but this fire energy is good whatever you decide to do in this year is a yes go for it it's definitely a yes if you decide to change company um, organization institutes it's a yes go for it so it's going to be um, very very good so I see some of you could be connecting and making a lot of friends in this year which is going to be helping you because these friends are going to be bringing you in positive alignment of energy however um, this is the these friends are going to be bringing you positive alignment of energies in your life the wheel of fortune is always very positive so it's going to be a very lucky year for you guys so um, be aware uh, some of you could be making a lot of friends but coming in huge corporation institutes where a lot of people are and a lot of friends are going to be coming in all right so this is um, very very positive and this is good so as we move forward and we look you have the wheel of fortune which is 10 and 1 1 and 10 then you have 5 then you have 18 and 9 so and a situation could be a friendship going is going to be ending or i said work situation could be ending in this year but it's okay because you're going to be finding something right away we see the energy of strength and i see that some of you this is a fire energy because whatever is transpiring for the people who were born on the seven you're trying to find inner strength to deal with issues and situation and i see you're seeing the truth about a corporation institution however that is coming up i see you're seeing the truth about people and situation around you and it's and it's like very 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 clear whatever is transpiring it is so clear and um i see that some of you are going to be either helping other people or receiving help so this solar year for you guys is that you're working with uh, the energy of fire and it's about finding your passion pushing yourself forward and by doing that you're going to be creating not only abundance for yourself but you're going to be seeing the truth and issues and situation that is affecting you and your life and what was affecting you so um, this is um, going to be a very very positive it's, it's going to be absolutely positive so whenever strength comes up it's actually very good because it's that you are building that strong stability in your world and what is going to be transpiring is that this is going to be a very lucky year for you unsurprisingly by you finding the inner um the inner strength and standing your ground you're going to be building up on positive alignment of energy where we see that you're going to be seeing the truth seeing the truth to issues and situation that is going to be transpiring and you are going to be finding the inner strength to overcome all of this and you're going to be surprising yourself so this is going to be good absolutely fabulous so you have eight uh, you have six you have 12 you have three and you have nine if you notice there is a lot of nines a lot of endings and new beginnings that is coming up and this is good so enjoy then we look at the people who were born on the 10th and you people are going to be communicating and that is what I um, the eight sorry people who were born on the 8th of February a communication is as if you guys are going to be writing a book finding out something um, letting people educating people information is going to be coming but you guys are going to shed the light so it does come up as a writer scriber or you're going to be finding out things if you're doing exam in this year it's going to be fabulous because you're going to be um, passing all these exams and whatever you're doing if you're writing something it's going to be beautiful I see especially for work if you're writing for work or communicating for work it's going to be absolutely fabulous you're going to be making a lot of money so in however way if it's uh, looking for a new job this year it's going to be good changing jobs it's going to be good whatever that you are doing um, that has to do with making changes showing people information doing research and that sort of a thing is just going to be fabulous otherwise it's going to be good because a lot of you you're you're on top of your game this year you're seeing things and things are clear for you so you're on top of your game and you're moving forward and this is just going to be fabulous so if you wanted to have if you were having problem having a child um, getting pregnant uh, this year it's going to be happening for you okay 
definitely here we said it luck is on your side so this is what I always say to people don't worry about the card that comes it's the cards that affect it around it so what I'm saying is that people who were trying to get pregnant this is going to be your lucky year people who wanted to do surgery yes go ahead this year it's going to be good it's going to be working out perfectly um, um people who wanted to do research who wanted to go an extra study people who are study and uh, finishing their study it's going to be good positive alignment of energy your luck is a, this year is going to be a very lucky year for you even with the energy of the hermit and this is why uh, it is good to understand um, how things affect you so you have a water energy but this water energy is good because you have a, a hurt energy that is balancing you out and I see with communication you're going to be having a lot of luck so beautiful 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 again another nine eight and two nine eight and two and this is really wonderful really beautiful so as we look at the people who were born on the ninth you have the energy of uh, the energy of uh, um, the um, intuition secrets uh, um, you have an inner wisdom working with the unseen world this is going to be good because the moon energy is very good because you are listening to your own intuition not the intuition of other people you're listening to your own intuition and this is going to be good because what is going to be transpiring is that it's going to create a lot of financial abundance for you and your family so wonderful energy is coming up and uh, the moon energy is just so positive because what is going to be transpired with all the information that is going to be coming out all the information um, however this is doing if you're in school if you are a um, someone who educates people it's going to be um, wonderful because and if you work with groups of people it's going to be absolutely wonderful because it's going to be a positive alignment of energy that is going to be helping you to move you forward in wonderful positive alignments okay so this is positive it is um, um, a year of uh, um, um, building on financial stability for you and your family and if it's not your family if you haven't created your family you are going to be making sure that you are financial stable if and when you're ready to create a family and this is going to be good and here we go I see um, you guys be careful of your friends there's a lot of secrecy um, with people around you secrecy with uh, friends okay so be aware of this so friends are going to be coming up a lot of people are going to be coming up a lot of friends are going to be coming up but be careful of these people because there is a lot of secrecy that is around okay and I think that um, you got to be aligned and ready um, and you know just um, open your arms to people but know how far you go with them so I see a lot of friendship is going to be um, built and this is going to be good but yet still be aware of um, listen to your intuition about these people um, that is coming in there is definitely so you guys are going to be um, having it um, you know working together with your family which is going to be extremely beautiful working together with your family this is going to be extremely beautiful and this is going to be bringing out positive energy success is going to be here for you with money success in work success in your studies and uh, success with friendship um, if there was issues with your friendship you're going to be overcoming these uh, um, these uh, friendship and um, if you do um, medium work or um, work with the public um, psychic and that sort of a thing it's going to be extremely good um, this is all this is the moon and the star is always about uh, if you are a psychic you're going to be extremely good your information is going to be coming out uh, as if unknowingly just you're going to be speaking your information is going to be coming out so there is no worries so I see for you guys in the foundation of your year um, for, for um, and before I, I move forward um, you have 18 um, 16 um, 9 7 uh, 10 0 1 and then we have 6 okay so 
if you notice you guys are going to be very very lucky because with the energy of the star and each and every person because this is a solar year each and every person is affected by all of these energies so if uh, um for the people who was born on the fourth you have the energy of the star you're ending up uh, with the energy of the moon with uh, the family financial stability these balance energy are very good it has to do with uh, friendship friendship whether you're going to be building a business with a friend if you decide to build a business with a friend this is going to be um so successful so however way um, if you're thinking about starting business, it's going to be successful. So whatever you think to do this in this year, it's going to be okay. It's going to be powerful. It's going to be a yes. Whatever is transpiring, it is a yes. There is no question um, about this. And you need to understand that whatever the deceptiveness or if you are going to be doing something deceptive to someone else, you've got to be aware because the possibility of you being caught is going to be here. Okay. The possibility of you being caught is going to be here. So whatever secrets there was, I see some of you are going to be finding out about the secrets. I see some of you are going to be balancing out the situation. Some of you are going to be finding out about secrets. Some of you are going to be traveling. Some of you, it's going to be hard to make a decision where you want to go on vacation because that is the center. Some of you could cancel your vacation, but it's, it's like you're not going to some place that you said you were going to go. You're gonna go to another place so a lot of traveling is coming up for you guys also so whatever is happening and transpiring I see a lot of traveling coming up for you guys and it is going to be good because I see you're going to be having the opportunities to balance out and um, to do um, whatever you wanted to do and this is going to be positive so Alrighty, um, wonderful um, solar year for you guys. Remember to subscribe, subscribe, please share these videos and subscribe. Okay, please share these videos and subscribe. Share, share, share these videos. Just share them. Okay, wonderful energies. You guys are going to be having a lot of support. And I don't know why my cards. Um, a lot of supports is going to be coming up for you guys. Um, I see you having angelical support, but also support from the universal angels. So support, you guys are going to be, other people are going to be coming in and supporting you in this year. And it's going to be absolutely fabulous because what happened is that it, it is a year of transition. So with transition, a lot of people are always coming in and a lot of people always want to support or, um, uh, you know if you create something good a lot of people wants to support you because it's something that is helping them so um wonderful energy of supports comes out and it's going to be good um a lot of people who were born from the third uh fourth fifth and um eight is going to be having a lot of support then we have um, spirit of place, spirit of place. And this is what I'm saying. A lot of you are going to be traveling. A lot of you are going to be relocating. Spirit of place comes up. So there is a lot of travel and a lot of relocation that is going to be coming up for you guys. Okay. And this is going to be good. So um, spirit of place is going to be calling some of you and you need um, to find the place um that is calling you okay you need to find the place that is calling you and however this place is calling you up you need to find out uh, where is it which place and i see a lot of you relocating changing um houses changing um residence changing work places and that sort of a thing and that is going to be um affecting the people who are born on the fifth six uh seven and nine fifth six seven and nine okay so i love you guys please remember to subscribe um set the notification button on likes and share these videos share 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 i will speak to you next um go check out the weekly reading because this is your year reading you have to see your weekly reading i love you guys namaste